Reed. And I'm Allison Wise. New tonight, Arkansas House legislators questioned the massive education overhaul bill and heard from concerned citizens for and against that bill today in Little Rock. 4029's Brett Range joins us live tonight with more. Brett. Well, guys, 94 people signed up to share their thoughts about the Arkansas Learns Act. In fact, they're still talking at the House Education Committee hearing. They started this afternoon and it's still going. No word when they'll be wrapped up. And here's just some of what we've heard so far. There is no competition when it comes to serving and caring for children. These students are not going to get more access. We are going to create a more of a have and have nots with the way this bill is written right now. Senate Bill 294, known as the Arkansas Learns Act, is 145 pages that addresses everything from increased school security, teacher pay, to school vouchers, and a lot more. The bill proposes a $14,000 increase to teacher pay, raising minimum salaries to $50,000 a year. It creates spending accounts to allow parents to use the money to choose between private or homeschool options instead of public schools for their kids. Today, House Education Committee members heard from those on all sides of the issues. What is best for one child is not what is always best for another. Which environment will each uniquely designed child thrive in? That is the important question. Parents get one chance to raise their children. This bill will give parents options and provide a way, regardless of their monetary means. And although the starting salary is being raised for educators to an applaudable $50,000, um, it does not appropriately address the average salary for veteran teachers. And instead, I am concerned that it makes the floor the ceiling. I agree. Public dollars need to fund public schools, but I also didn't get a tax credit or any kind of other issue um, to help us to educate our son when he wasn't afforded an education at school that would fit his needs. Every day I live in the world with families in extreme poverty. I have two students right now, this is the 32nd day of this quarter, who've missed 17 of those 32 days. And even with a voucher, even with the transportation uh, piece that's in here, those students who are missing 12 and 15 days a quarter, every quarter, are still gonna not, are still gonna do that. They're still not going to be able to access because their families don't know how to, to help them and get them to school. And the education committee, the head of that committee said they're not going to take any action tonight. He says they expect to debate and vote whether or not to approve the Learns Act on Wednesday. And if that happens, then the full house could vote for it on Thursday. Now coming up tonight at six, we'll hear from one superintendent who says the third grade literacy requirements in the bill as written right now would make his elementary school a failure, a failure. We'll hear about that and why he says that is. Live in Fort Smith, Brett Raines, 4029 News.